This video today is all about how to use a Kong and avoiding the two biggest mistakes. Hey everybody, I'm Denise Mazzola, this is Gio. We are from Everything Dog and today we are talking Kongs. So let's get into it. Here are the two biggest mistakes that people make. They use the wrong size, meaning it's way too small for their dog. And, excuse me, they are not stuffing it appropriately to your dog's ability, okay? So let's get into it. First of all, these are the only size Kongs that we have, given the size dogs that we have and usually the dogs that come into our home. You want bigger, bigger is better. If you have a lab puppy, don't get the little pink ones or the little blue ones, go right for this guy and eventually you're gonna need this guy, okay? So why? Because you want, for a Kong, to be used effectively with your dog in the lousy weather in New Hampshire in the winter time, we often will feed our dogs out of Kongs, right? So that becomes their dinner. They, they have to solve the puzzle to get the food out. But you want bigger, not smaller. Okay, that's the first mistake. The second mistake is a little more involved in whereas people either make it too easy and their dog is too advanced, or they make it too hard and their dog is a new learner. All right, so what do I mean by that? What I mean is that when you first start using a Kong, let's say you have a young dog who's never had one before, all you're gonna do is take a handful of food, this is probably gonna drive Gio crazy, put it right in there, you could, you, this could be his meal, right? So measure it out, whatever that's gonna be, fill it all the way up, and you're gonna just set it on the floor. Whoop! food came out. Perfect. The dog's going to come over and eat it. Anytime the dog touches the Kong, the food's going to come out. That's how you're going to start. Super easy, high, high reinforcement, meaning the food is just coming out, coming out, coming out. You're not going to get a, the, a long time. Like this isn't going to take your puppy a long time and that's perfectly okay. We want it to be easy peasy. Okay. Then what's another level? So once your dog it's like, oh, the Kong, I'm so excited about it. Put it on the floor, put it on the floor. And they're whacking, the, whacking it to get the food out. Now we can add a little layer of complexity. So one option is if you have peanut butter and, you can, and your dog likes peanut butter and there's no allergies, we always buy just some cheap peanut butter and we write dog on it because you don't want to be putting this peanut butter on your banana or apple or making sandwiches out of it. Okay, so this is the dog peanut butter. I'm just going to take a quick scoop and I'm gonna put it right across the top here. So you just have a thin layer and right behind there is the food. So when the dog comes here and starts licking, and we'll show you some videos, just starts licking, the food's gonna come out, boom, the dog gets some instant reinforcement right away. Now, here's what I hear here like, oh, my dog doesn't like peanut butter. Okay, great. Then use your dog's canned food as the thing on the top. Whipped cream cheese is amazing for stuffing Kong, so you can put some of that on the top. Just think outside of the box, guys. Just put something that the dog will like on the, out, on the exterior of the Kong so that they will go to town on that. So once your dog is accomplished with a little layer of peanut butter, cream cheese, their wet food on the top, so they just lick it and then the rest of the food comes tumbling out, now you can add the sort of a third letter layer of complexity. So now I'm gonna take my, I'm just gonna use peanut butter, but insert for you what you wanna use. If you wanna use the um, cream cheese, if you wanna use their, their wet food, that's perfectly fine. You're just gonna put a smathering, spread it around really thin. Remember, this is the dog peanut butter, so it doesn't matter that I'm putting it back in there. Right, so you want it really thin in here. So that now, when I put the kibble in, some of it is automatically going to stick. So some will come right out, but there's a whole bunch left in there that's sticking, okay? So that would be the next level. Now you're gonna put this down on the floor and the dog will get some quick reinforcement, which we want. Some kibble will fall out, but some will remain stuck in there and they'll have to work a little harder for it, okay? Great, all right, your dog's a pro at that. Then I usually take the knife and I start packing the kibble into the peanut butter, right? So now I'm consciously going, hey, stick in there a little bit more. You could do another layer of peanut butter, another layer of kibble, and then you could give that to your dog. 
And ultimately, the last, the most difficult one is stuff your Kong, freeze it. Mm. And when you bring it out, I like to just put a little dollop of something right on the opening so that the dog will have a little instant gratification and then they are going to work on that frozen Kong. And that's where the dog really, I, I would call it the sweet spot because now the dog is going to be working, trying to solve this puzzle. Their brain is going to be activated. They're going to get some dopamine release and you're going to get some peace of mind and you're going to get a break from your dog, particularly if it's a puppy or a, one of a hyper dog. You're, they're just going to be very busy with this. But you can't start with the frozen Kong. You have to go through the sequence. And those were just some examples. Now, some other things. I've got kibble, but I also have some cut up pork chop that you could put in there. I have meatballs, right? They're frozen meatballs that I just get at the grocery store and I cut them up super easy peasy. Gio loves all this stuff, of course. I've used some um, string cheese that I also get and I've just cut that up into pieces. You can put some of that in there. Be creative. And I actually find that children, once they see this, they're like, oh my God, they totally love making puzzle toys for the dog. All right, so let's just talk quickly about when are you gonna use one of these things? Well, in today's day and age, the first thing that comes to mind is a Zoom call. So if you're getting ready to have a Zoom meeting, you're trying to help your kids on a, with Zoom with their teacher, whatever you're doing with Zoom, have some of these bad boys ready to go. You can pre-stuff, have them in the refrigerator, super easy, right? Pull it out. You can give them more than one, right? And your dog is gonna love you for it. Let's say um, you're leaving and you're trying to create some positive association because you're teaching your dog to be home alone because during COVID so many of us are home. So one great way to do that is, hey doggy, have a Kong. I'm gonna go get the mail, come back. Have a Kong, I'm gonna drive around the block and come back, but leave them with something to do when you're not going to be home. And this could be in the crate or it could be out of the crate either way. Let's say you just need to watch Netflix in the evening and chill out and you don't want to be bothered by the dog. Give him a stuffed Kong. Give him two stuffed Kongs, right? And listen, your dog is not gonna get fat because they're eating all of this peanut butter and food. Yes, your dog will get fat if you continue to feed them the same amount in their dish while you're giving them brain toys. You have to, you have to manage their food. So Gio had a full portion of food this morning. When we're done videoing this, I'm gonna give him these to clean up. And so tonight he's not gonna get his full cup. I'll probably give him a quarter cup because there's a lot of food in here and peanut butter. So help your dog out by managing the food situation and making adjustments to their meals. The last place that I would use a Kong is I would actually feed Gio out of more than one Kong because I'd probably, I'd probably need a couple of big ones to get his meal and the sticking agent, the cream cheese or the peanut butter, whatever I wanted to use in here. But then instead of feeding him out of dish, I would feed him out of a Kong. A quick review. The two biggest mistakes that I see dog owners make when they're talking about Kongs is they use a size that's way too small for your dog. And the second mistake is they make it too hard for the dog before the dog has learned what a Kong means, how to get the food out, that it's fun, that it's worthwhile. So break it down, take your time, make it easy, and your dog is gonna love you for it. It'll keep them busy, they won't chew things, and you're gonna have some peace of mind. So have fun stuffing your Kong, and I'll see you next time.